The big difference is that they don't have the ability to logic or reason. So uh, when we're rehabilitating them, which we do with all of our dogs, it's just a simple matter of, of using positive reinforcement uh, to counteract a previous negative uh, connection with something. So think of it as a piggy bank. If the dog is very, uh, uh, you know, reactive and, and problematic around gunfire, then we use uh, positive reinforcement in conjunction with light gunfire a long ways away to slowly build that dog up and get them used to gunfire again and, and, and pair it with either playing tug or playing ball or giving treats or uh, long walks in the woods, blowing off steam, throwing the ball, exercising, et cetera, and really just you know, erase that, that negative connotation uh, and get them to where they can be adopted out. It's something that I, I am very, very passionate about. I'm very proud to have uh, started and been a part of it. Uh, again, the, the amount of dogs that we've been able to to save is, is truly remarkable. And, and most of the uh, people that come and, and rehome these dogs are former combat vets. Uh, most of them mentality wise are, I would say, very much on par with the dogs. They're cranky. Uh, they, they don't get along with most people. Um, and they usually live out, you know, on a ranch in Montana with 50 acres and, and want to be left alone. And so it's a good fit. It's uh, amazingly therapeutic too, to see these dogs paired with, with these former combat vets and, uh, you know, they just, they understand each other, you know, so there's, there's just a, a synergy there that exists. It's, uh, it's, it's beautiful to see it uh, and they, they kind of save each other. So it's something that, you know, again, we've, we've been uh, very, very proud to be, be a big part of.